Someday you will praise me, Higgins. Praise me. What happens if I sit down like this? <laughs> Look at him, he's like actually running away from me. <laughs> oh, I am going to be the town nuisance and a half. Hey, we leveled up. Yeah, we leveled up. I missed an, missed an element there. Your pa would have been so proud. Let me explain some of the processes for our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board, over there. Based on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me. There are other workshops in Porsche? Oh yes, adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can get. But once you're done with oh, your orders, you can pick more to up that. the commission oh, well. fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly to the market. That's fairly lucrative as well. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Playing favorites, are we? Higgins! You already took one today! There are never too many commissions! Good day! That's Runt! He's the owner of the current number one workshop! Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Hey, Prez. I got a job for you. Or not. What is it, Arlo? We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. So the mayor finally put up the money. Well, Young here is up for the challenge. Wait, it like... They don't have the name, so he's like, Young here. <laughs> Hmm, uh, okay, so we got a question from chat. Uh, I'll answer it in a second. Yeah, you figured that place could be a real tourist attraction with the haunted cave and all. Check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. Also, and this is important, for a project as big as a bridge, you need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have one such ruin in Portia. It's located at the bottom of the temple tower. Yeah, I... Well, we might want one of these. So, two stone tables. I don't know if I can do that. Two copper plates. Eh, two catfish. Let's leave those alone for a bit and let's get our workshop set up first before I do too much. Okay, so how are we liking this game f so far, and are there any major issues with it uh, that would mean you shouldn't pick it up? Honestly, so I think it's one of those that it's best to kind of... I'm not going to say keep an open mind with this game, but realize that, yeah, it's not going to be, like, a masterpiece like Stardew Valley was. It's got some interesting bits, though. Uh, you know, actual dungeons to fight in. And, like, the combat is possibly a little bit better than Stardew's. It's a little bit more varied. You got some extra weapon types. Uh, you can dodge roll. There's there's a little bit more you can do, a little bit more exploring. Um, less on the farming side, I think you can farm. A lot of fishing. I like the I like the environment. Like, it looks pretty. And it's fun to run around in. I guess I would actually put this in the exact same classification uh, as, like, Slime Rancher. Of really charming game, kind of light on content. But if you want to, like, kick back and relax for, like, uh, like a 20 30 hour playthrough uh because i think it goes that far they keep having like town events and celebrations and stuff like this is one of those games hey there i'm chiwa the smallest of the hulu brothers there are seven of us so uh it'll probably take you a while to get used to it <laughs> does he have like grape poop as his i i mean it kind of at first it looked like one of those like cartoonish turd swirls on his shirt I, I don't know what I what's wrong with me today, but my head is in the wrong place. I just look down at it and it's like he's got like okay, that's not that's not poop. That's probably for the best. <laughs> Hulu. Huh. Hey, you're the new builder, right? 
I'm Chiwa. I live to fish, but a big one broke my fishing rod yesterday. Can you make me a new one? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I want to find the largest of the Kiwa brothers and actually have it be considerably larger. Like, the size of one of these trees or something. You have to, like, really go looking for him. That'd be amazing. No, not a quest there. Maybe a quest inside the round table? Yep, there's Emily. Hi, Emily! I'm licensed now! Hey, neighbor! Do you have a minute? I've been meaning to talk to you. Sure, what's up? I just got a new craft recipe all the way from Highwind. It's a box that can be used to cultivate crops. People in Highwind have been using it for a while now, and supposedly it's great. Can you build it and test it out for me? If it works as advertised, I'll order a few more off of you. How about it? Sure. Okay, here's the craft recipe, and there's a few seeds for you to plant. If you want more seeds, you can buy them from my granny's shop. Try growing them to maturity and show me the harvest. Also, I have a tip for you. Using fertilizer will help increase the harvest. I'll give you some of that as well. Okay, so we got a couple of little side quests. Yeah, why is she voice now? Uh, they added, they tried to have a bunch of voice acting to this game. I actually really wish they did an all or nothing. It's really awkward where they, like, they have partial. Like, I'd be fine if the occasional cutscene, uh, cutscene conversation, especially, the, like, the basic, like, thanks for the delivery. Like, if that sort of thing wasn't voice acted. But it's real strange when, um... It's a little strange that uh, they will be like having a conversation with them and they'll just stop talking. A big deal. It's like you kind of notice it and you're like, oh, that's odd. I wonder why is your character wearing a diploma? Uh, carrying a diploma? Why isn't? Why aren't you carrying a diploma? I carry mine around with me all the time. I mean, I get some odd looks, but I think that's just because like it's a diploma from New York. Like, why are you- why are you out here, Wanderbot? Like, what is- why? What? But yes, it's also my builder's license. I'm a- I'm a City of Portia certified Shmumida. In fact, I'm actually fairly certain nobody actually filled this thing out. Yeah, no. They just gave me an empty piece of paper with some lines on it, then stamped it. I guess that- that's cl that's certification around here. <laughs> I- Oh, all right. Can I can I put this like above my bed? Yes. There we go. Oh, there we go. Workshop, dude. Top. Workshop level D. Builder, dude. And birthday. Day one, season one. What? That's not my birthday. Dang it. I'm gonna try using my controller so I can be as properly relaxed. It'll probably be fine. All right, uh, let's see, what do we craft? What can we craft? So, beginner's fishing rod. We need a copper bar, wild cocoon. We've got plenty. Is that what we need to build for, yeah, so tree kicking. Time to go slam my face into some trees. How do I kick? I just... Gain EXP from kicking trees. I think I have to find a different tree, though. This doesn't seem terribly forthcoming with, uh... With the resources I'm looking for. Maybe this really, really big tree. Did Wander miss an S, or is it supposed to be Hop? <laughs> well, I originally put it out as Dude's Shop, and then I realized it's funnier to have it as Dude's Hop, because... I don't know. I... I don't know, I was just like, hey, this is like, actually weirdly perfect. Let's go with it. And thank you, Moose Lord, for the resub. How is it going? Okay, we got those perfect. Right, let's just grab what we can. I should probably keep going for those rocks, because we wanted... I think we needed a copper bar for some stuff. So, prioritize that first. You know, I almost wish, uh, for a game like this, you actually could upgrade your bed. So, like, can I get this? Nope. Need a better, better pickaxe. But I do get EXP, even if I need a better pickaxe. Oh, missed. 
Nope, this one too. Dang. I guess let's just go pick up whatever. Hello. What's up? You must be the new builder I heard about. I'm Remington, a member of the Civil Corps. If you got any troubles, let me know and I'll try to make it go away. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to keyboard and mouse. Controller isn't bad, but the uh, the camera swing is not comfortable. Horse! Wait. Can I can I yoink his horse? Dang. I was kind of hoping I could yoink his horse. <laughs> oh, not enough stamina. All right. Well, we fixed the house, so I should be able to sleep properly now. Uh, I guess let's see if I can start making some copper bars. Because, yeah, I might as well get the... Uh... Oh, fuel is something we have to worry about. I guess we might as well refuel. I don't think it burns out. Oh, no, we do not want to cancel. Okay, so that'll take time. Do we make another? Eh, we're gonna want a bunch of furnaces. Yeah, yeah, let's make another let's make another furnace. Cause we're gonna need like three of them. Maybe more before we're done. Okay. The other thing to look at, uh, let's see, stone stool. Oh, cool. So it actually tells you what you need to make. Uh you know, on the list for any of your current projects. So anything that's required for quests or what you've got on the builder thing. Okay, so I wanted to take a look at furniture. So these are important. So the tea table gets me four max stamina. Chair. Stone table. We might as well make a second stone stool. It's only two stamina, but that's fine. And then get some more stone the next day. Yeah, so we're, we're going to want to furnish our house really hard. I'm actually a little bit disappointed that we can't, like, build the house uh, further, that it, it's, like, kind of pre, pre-built-ish. Uh, this sort of game would actually work really well with, uh, what was it? Dragon Quest Builders style of game. You know, where you actually get to customize more. Okay, so we gotta get 400 gold to unlock a new one. Okay, well, let's not do that. Let's let's move our tools around. <laughs> now, I could go around just presenting this forever. That would be funny. All right, let's start making a stone brick. It's only one, but we're going to need tons by the time we're done. Like, this is one of those games... Uh, this is... Oh. Sleep, hold for settings, or I can just pick up. Oh. Huh. I could pick up my bed and wander away from it. Anyway, uh, I was going to talk about this. I actually kind of wish you could make new beds, and different levels of bed would actually restore more stamina per night. So, like, your stamina cap is actually really high. And depending on what you've got in your in your house, what you've got for a bed, whatever, so on and so forth, it actually increases how much stamina you get overnight. Uh, and that way, like, if you go to bed without depleting all of your stamina, you might actually get to... Uh, you know, it would carry over into the next day. With some diminishing returns, maybe. Okay, well, let's start with the beginner fishing rod. Seeing as he's right freaking here. Kiwa! Oh, this is one wicked looking rod. Thanks a bunch, mate. Here, I have some extra lure. Maybe you'll enjoy fishing as much as me. Alright, done with that. From the Civil Corps. I just want to inform you that the Civil Corps of Portia can take some commissions from you when it comes to gathering materials from hazardous runes. If you can post a commission on our commission board in the Civil Corps building in the northern end of town, there are some guidelines on the board that you should read before posting a commission, that's all. Okay. So I can send them out to get me the extra stuff. Antoine. Hey, Builder, at the end of the week, we need qualified people to inspect these products. To coordinate with this, we will not post any regular commissions during the weekend. But feel free to turn them in. And Polly. Oh, hello. Hey, new builder. I have a manly commission for you to help get you settled in. You feeling it? I need three copper blades from for some of my furniture. I expect nothing but macho quality, okay? Also, if you don't want to have don't have one already, you'll need a grinder to create these blades. That's all I know about builder stuff. Okay, so let's see what we need for a a grinder first. Okay, grinder requires 
Stone and copper ore, so not too bad. Now, I want to say it's a lot easier to get copper ore in the mine. How much money do I have? I got 132. We can go mining today. Let's do that. Because that'll get us a ton of, uh... That'll get, a, get us a decent chunk of stone. Maybe a little bit of iron, some other stuff. I think there's treasure chests around here that you can find. I don't know where they are, though. This is really cool-looking play equipment, by the way. Hello. You're the new builder, I suppose. I hope you're wiser and more reasonable than the other foolish builder in town. Oh, we can play we can play cross five with him. Neat. Higgins! Higgins, I'm gonna clock ya. <laughs> he runs away. You just have to bully him enough, and he'll just start sprinting away from you. It's beautiful. Right! You should get to know some of the people living in this town for your own benefit. I made a list of store owners within the city walls. You should go introduce yourself. I like it how he has like a weirdly like him looking smart image on the wall. And then also that lady. I don't know who that's supposed to be. I like the art on the walls. Like the art direction for this game is fantastic. Oh. So we came from Barnarok, which is actually in a completely different country. This is the Alliance of Free Cities, Portia. Neat. This looks very similar to Stardew Valley. I'd say it's a little bit closer to Rune Factory, maybe? Because, like, well, this game does not actually involve a whole lot of farming. It has some, but not as much. Ah, welcome. If you're in need of house or workshop upgrades, this is the place to be. All you need to do is select a plan from the catalog book in our company. You oh. It's a pig. He's got a pig. You're the new builder. I'm Gust. I'd love to stop and chat, tea, cake and all, but I'm busy. So, good day. Okay, so this is where we go if we want to upgrade our whole house. Oh boy. Some of these are grossly expensive. Oh, but we can trade stone for wood and wood for stone. Wait, we can just do that? Well, that's kind of awesome, actually. Because I, I know historically I've had like boatloads of one versus the other. That's kind of a nice uh, little trade-in. Everything else looks like it's going to be pretty expensive, so let's leave that alone for now. Okay, so let's go up to the mine. Let's let's get some mining done. Unfortunately, the mining in this game is not exactly the most interesting, but I'd say it's probably easier than the uh, the mining in uh, what was it, Stardew? Going to the Stardew mines was definitely an exercise in repetition. Hey there. First time ruin diving? Yep. Alrighty, let me explain then. All the ruins in the Alliance of Free Cities are regulated by the Civil Corps. To enter the ruins, you'll need to pay a weekly maintenance fee but we'll give you a 60% discount the first time. When you enter, I'll give you the jetpack and scanner. Very handy ancient relics. Mine in for resources becomes a lot easier when you have these equipped. When you come out, we'll need them back since they're very rare. This one beside me is an abandoned ruin. No monsters or robots in there, just resources and relics like power stones. Anything you find in the ruins are yours to keep, unless they're ancient weapons. Then we're supposed to hand them over to the church for destruction. Okay, I'm done. Have fun and be safe in there. One second, I gotta put on a wrist brace. There we go. Let's see, do you want to spend 20? Oh yeah, 20 is fine. Though that's a 60% discount. Oh, what? No, I thought it was 20. Oh! Shoot. 
80 gal for the weekly. The elevator just switches the zone. Whoopsie. Okay, so... Let's see. It doesn't look like it's changed at all. So that's fine. All right. Yeah, let's press M, go back to the rune entrance. Cool. I remember how this works. So brown rock is copper. Oh, right. We should probably level up here. Uh, seeing as we're here, actually, let's put two points into mining. Seeing as I'm going to be here for a considerable amount of time. Doing this a considerable amount of times. So let's let's be as prepared as possible. So yeah, this is mining. It's not I would I would not say it's the most advanced or even exciting thing in the game. Uh I I do wish mining was much more of like go into a dungeon, there's actual monsters, and then here's a couple of mining nodes, a la like World of Warcraft. I think that would probably work better than this, but oh well. It does look like you get boatloads of uh experience though, which is kinda nice. Betsy, can you get, dig yourself down? Yeah, there's bedrock. Now, what is the... Okay, open and close the relic scanner. There it is. We might as well go for relics while we're here. Okay. So, the way this place works is there's two things. You can go mining for resources, and then you can go looking for these nodes. These nodes... Oh, my inventory's getting full. Uh, let's eat an apple. Need anything else? That gives you HP. Hmm. Yep, nothing else. Wait, did I get, like, a dead bird thing? I think I might have. Yeah, we've got to get some storage built. Okay, inventory is full. It's been left on the ground. What? Oh, dang. Okay. We've learned the recipe. I might have actually lost whatever item was in there, unfortunately. Well, it's fine. I am kind of under the expectation that this is not going to be the most fruitful of journeys. But yeah, the glow spot is actually a thing. Uh, it can be a recipe, it can be like an item. Uh, I think I've found like couches in here before. Uh, there's like data disks you can get that you can use to research new things. It's actually like a fairly decent system. Yeah, so I just got a small clock. Unfortunately, I'm out of inventory space, so we're pretty much just gonna wanna switch over to mining copper until we run out of stamina. Or I could leave and come back the next day. Because we should probably go chop down some trees. Yeah. I mean, we've got bucket loads of copper at this point. I shouldn't need to worry about getting more. Oh yeah, I've got like 80 copper. Oh. Oh. Nom 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 nom. Ah, oh, I can't eat it. Galloping horse. Use the recovery machine to restore. Oh. Okay. Wait, is this... Oh, no, that's, that's an upgrade for... myself. And yeah, I can't... immediately... Let's just, uh... What do we ditch? Let's abandon the snake berries. In favor of the mysterious disc. Okay, Church of the Research Center. Okay, so let's let's write this place off for now. Inventory is super full. And I shouldn't be uh I, I shouldn't I I should have cleared up my inventory before I even thought of going down there. But that's fine. Okay, so can I check the map? Here we go. Mysterious disc. Talk to somebody in the church. Clinic. I mean, we should probably go to the research center.
think they're the ones that unlock new things. What's Mars nice have? Nice to have you. If you need tools or weapons, you can come to my shop. It's got the best selection around these parts. Now, you look like a nice kid, so I'm going to give you these for free as a leg up. Don't tell my wife, though. Okay, so he just gave us stuff. We should talk to no one until we've gotten rid of some of these things. Because I realize we're probably going to get free samples from folks. Because uh, I think the wife gives you something as well. And I don't have nearly enough inventory space for all of that. So let's not. So is this like a 3D Stardew Valley? A little bit, yeah. What do we have here? You know what it is? You want to know? This is actually related to how you can discover new diagrams for your workshop handbook. We rely on relic components from the past to build a lot of our current constructs. Many relics in this world are beyond our current understanding and you won't be able to build them. Not even in a hundred years. That's where this data disk comes in. These data disks are located all around the world. They hold lots of useful information on the old relics. If you find any, give them to us and we'll help you research into these relics. The research effort will produce the diagrams that you need to build them. We're not miracle workers, so don't expect us to come up with things from scratch, but we do know a thing or two about how the components should fit together. Anyway, just remember that if you find any data disks, bring them to me, okay? Ooh, what did you bring me this time? Ah, this must be a piece of a relic. You can use our recovery machine in the research center to restore it to its original shape. It'll take data disks, but it should be pretty fast. Have fun. Okay, so we have a galloping horse. But we don't have enough. I really wish I could just slot the bird in. Well, whatever. Okay. Uh, let's see. I guess let's go back. Let's get storage. I need that. I need that first and foremost. I kind of wish you could just warp back to your house. That'd be nice. Just like as a time-saving measure. I don't know. By the end of uh, Stardew Valley, I was getting real tired of just walking around, so I was just teleporting left and right. Worked Good very day, well, actually. Gilda. Oh dear, a data disk. You know what this is? Of course. This is what the ancients used to store information on their technologies back in the Age of Corruption. It is highly dangerous because there's a chance this little item here can contain the blueprint for world destruction. Can't be that bad, right? <laughs> You're what, 18? 19? The Age of Darkness is probably just another fairy tale story to you, right? When I was young, my great-grandma told me first-hand accounts about the time before Peach, the time when folks lived in the ruins underground. She went days without food. Everyone fought everyone else over the most basic of things. People were considered old when they hit 30, and it was always, always dark. Imagine that. That's what the end of the world looked like. And that was created by the very same dark technology stored inside this little disk. Anyhow, I'm not trying to scare you, but it's the reality of your builder business. All the dangerous technology are spread around the world, waiting to be stumbled upon. And in the case of the research center and cities like Vega 5, expediting in their recovery, the calamity will strike again. So it's the priority of the church to seek and destroy all data disks and other dangerous relics. With the help of rune divers such as yourself, of course. So I can give this yes, to you? Yes, that's right. The church will reward you handsomely for your efforts. We have in our position a vast amount of green technology learned through the ages. Oh, wait a minute. I know that look. The church isn't against the use of good technology that can bring telesis to our society. We're only against dangerous technology. What kind of green technology? Mostly special seeds. You'll see. We can share what we have with you as you bring us more discs. You do know how to plant crops, right? Yes. Okay, great. Here, I'll take that disc and give you some seeds to get you started. When you discover more discs, bring them to us and we'll give you more seeds. You'll be doing this world a great service. 
Okay, so we get some extra cotton seeds. He does take my disc, but I'll live. Ah, uh, I just want EXP right now. Speaking of, I think we leveled up like several times. Okay, I've got one more skill point. Let's put it into uh, logging. No matter what, those two are going to be the most helpful. Just because those are the primary activities I engage in every single day.